So what is the cause of vibration that you feel through the steering wheel when you're driving at higher speeds? This video is really gonna look at the possible causes. We're gonna start off with the least likely causes and move up to the most likely cause of this significant problem that affects so many people, judging by the amount of questions and correspondence we get about vibration when driving at speed. So one of the least likely causes of this is generally suspension or axle issues. So if the suspension is starting to be faulty, you're getting more road shocks, more vibrations are coming through the car. You will tend to notice that at lower speeds and it'll be more pronounced at higher speeds. So primarily this video is going to be addressing the problem of vibration at high speed that's not present at lower speed. So in most cases, that will eliminate the possibility of suspension issues or axle issues, but they can't be ruled out completely. If there's an imbalance in the axles or in the hubs themselves, that can cause this problem. And we've also got to talk about the wheel bearing. So that's doing a lot of work to allow the wheels to rotate around the axle. So if that's become worn, you're going to have a bit of a vibration there. And that may only manifest itself at higher frequencies or higher frequencies of driving. You'll typically notice a whining noise when that wheel bearing starts to break down. So that whine is often that telltale sign that it's the wheel bearing. So if you've got the whine and the vibration, that's the place you need to look. So another problem, and this has happened to me in the past, a bent rim. So you've hit a pothole quite hard and it's actually deformed very slightly, you probably won't even notice it looking at the rim itself. It affects the rim itself. So if it's not completely circular, it's going to start to give you a bit of vibration when driving. And that's going to be particularly noticeable at those higher speeds. At the lower speeds, you won't notice it at all. But as the speed starts to increase, it will create that imbalance. You've basically got more metal, more mass, more weight at certain points. The tire is flexing a little bit more where that bend is. So when you get your tires changed, they often check the rims and just make sure that there are no obvious deformations in the rim. So that can be a frustrating problem. If you've hit a pothole, you've replaced your tire, you've replaced your suspension, and now you find that your rim is slightly buckled and that's the cause of these vibrations. So the wheels are attached to the hub through a series of nuts. So if people have used spacers and those ridiculous wobble bolts, they can sometimes come slightly loose or it may not be attached. Or even if you're not using spacers and wobble bolts, if the wheel is not firmly fixed and fixed correctly to the hub itself, that can cause a vibration at higher speeds. And that really is something you want to look at. These vibrations are gonna get worse, weaken the bolts. You may have the bolts working loose or just breaking completely. And losing a wheel at speed is a little bit of a problem, particularly if you're dedicated to keeping the car actually on the road. So don't dismiss the possibility that the bolts themselves have started to work loose and just check with a torque wrench that they're set to the correct amount of torque. So incorrect tire pressures. Now that's not directly a cause of the vibration, but what happens with incorrect tire pressures is the extra flexing causes irregular wear in the tires. So instead of being completely round, you've got areas where the tread is slightly lower and slightly taller, and that will kick in at certain speeds and you'll notice a vibration when that happens. So that's particularly going to happen if the tire has started to cup. I've done another video on the cupping of tyres, where basically there's little scalloped ridges that have been cut in the tread pattern just due to the way the wheel is vibrating. And that's often down to incorrect tyre pressures. So keep an eye on those tyre pressures. It just keeps everything working tightly. The most common cause of an imbalance or vibration at higher speeds is just the balance of the wheels. So when you get your tyres fitted, you'll notice they put it on a little device that measures the balance of the wheel and they will fit little weights on the inside or the outside of the rim just to make sure that the wheel is correctly balanced. So as the tyres wear down, that can affect that overall balance. As the mileage starts to creep up, you may well start to notice this vibration happening at speed and it's generally due to getting the wheels balanced. So in that case, just go back to the tyre fitter and just get them to rebalance the wheels. It's generally a very cheap, very quick job that they can do easily and that will mitigate completely the problem that you've been having. So please boot that like button. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so because we would love you to stay tuned. And I've lined this video up for you if you're interested in getting the best performance out of your tires. Thanks for watching. See you in this next video.